What was the reaction from everyone once scaffolding fell down on top of that? Once the scaffolding started to sway, you could like hear almost everybody in the entire thing gasp. Like, <gasps> and then instantly, as soon as it fell, the people down below, you know, on the ground level, started running to the scaffolding. And you could see people like pulling, you know, like pulling apart the metal and trying to lift the metal up. And then the people that were up in the bleachers with me, like, I was at seat 32. I was row 32, but there's, I don't know how many rows behind me. All those people, like, the bleachers started to sway with that gust of wind, so they all started rushing forward. And when they all started rushing forward, it was either you got out of the way or you were trampled. So it was just, it was just chaos. It's like everybody up top wanted to get down below and everybody who was down below was trying to help those that were that were trapped and you could see people trapped. You were talking too about there was a lot of struggle with the police and even just first responders trying to get down there. To yeah, the, with, the, with the police and the first responders it was just they were you could see it in their faces they were just in despair. It's like you could see that so many people needed help but nobody had any idea that something like that was going to happen and they just couldn't find ways down there. I could I could hear them um, screaming that it was so muddy they couldn't they couldn't get the ambulances down there the ambulances were going to get stuck um, they were trying to use golf carts to get people out um, they were trying to get ATVs down there to get to get people out and at the time as I was trying to make my way to the exit I could see you know, regular civilians making uh, makeshift cots or stretchers out of they take belts and wooden chairs because they were setting wooden, ch wooden chairs down there and making their own stretchers trying to get people to safety because and carrying them past the muddy part of the track because there was no way that anybody could get down there with like regular vehicles at that time. It's a day after and it's, I mean, can you get any of the images out of your head or? Honestly, I still have goosebumps sitting here um, talking about it. It was just, I'm a parent and hearing these little, these little there was these um, little girls that had to be like less than 10 years old screaming that they couldn't find their mom. And I'd lost my friend for 45 minutes. The cell phone towers were blocked. You couldn't call. You couldn't text. It was just straight busy signals. And I had the same panic that they had. But just knowing that these little kids may never, you know, never see their parents again, just for going to a concert and having a great time, and in an instant, it was just taken away from them like that. We still keep thinking about what happened to those people that were sitting next to us. They were. Everybody at the concert was so happy. They were all dance, you know, the opening act. They were all dancing and singing, and when it was when they had announced Sugarland, everybody was cheering, and it was the it was a great show, and everybody was just so excited. And then seconds later, people died. You just, I mean, people die every day, but they they died like right in front of you. And my friend and I, when we first got to the show, well, they had an option where you could pay extra and upgrade your seats. And we had the extra money on us. And 15 minutes earlier, we were going to go upgrade our seats and go and be in that pit. And it's like, we're both parents, and we could have died. It's just, it's just terrible. But it's awful to think about. I mean, that could have been you. I know. And the people sitting right next to us, it's, it's them. We know it's them. But to see the community or as, as people as a whole, running down there, putting their own safety on the line to get people out of there, there's really faith in humanity a lot more than, I, than you would ever imagine. Because people were putting their lives on the lines. You know, there could have been like electric wire, like live wires down there and everything, but people didn't care. You could see they were covered in mud. They were like buried. You could hear the, the police scanners talking about they were digging people out of mud. And, and people, they didn't care. They just went and did what they had to do for, for their fellow man. And it, it was amazing to see so many people come together like that in, in that time of need.